Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and a channel update. I haven't done one of these for a long time, but I have got a couple of things I want to talk about, so let's get on with today's video. So after working on the channel full time, certainly for the last couple of years, one thing I have noticed is the fact that you are battling against the YouTube algorithm. Now, before you think that this is going to be a rant video about YouTube, it's most certainly not, absolutely not. And, you'll, and if you watch to the end, you will see that. But one of the things you're up against as a YouTube content creator is the YouTube algorithm. It needs to understand what it is you do. And until it does understand fully what you do, it can't recommend um, the channel out and promote you and get new people in. I'm already um, on the back foot anyway because I do such a wide variety. It's still gaming. I only ever create anything on the channel that's around gaming. But because it's so varied and because my upload schedule is um, a real mix of uploading videos, doing cheeky live streams, doing scheduled live streams, doing some streams that are busy, some streams that um, you know get a really low count in because it's an indie game or again YouTube doesn't know what to do with it. Um, I find that the, um, the video content side and the live stream content side are permanently battling against each other and I think it's holding back growth on the channel. The other problem with the live streaming um, versus the algorithm is swearing. Now, on a video like this, uh, and my Let's Plays, anything like that, you know, because I'm making a presentation, I'm conscious of the fact that I'm not going to swear in this video. But on a live stream, it's different. The live stream is less of a presentation and more about me, you, the lads, having a gaming session as if we're down the pub, having a laugh, having fun together, and swear words do come out. Now, the problem with that is it demonetizes the video, right? I've got so much demonetization across my channel um, because of the swearing. Now, before you think I'm penny pinching, that's not what it's about. Although, over the two or three years that I've been doing this and the amount of videos and the views that I get on the channel are quite high, it does it does hit the pocket. You know, the, the, the monetization side of the channel does pay for something. I mean, the majority of the income comes from generous um, tip-in um, on the live streams and the member program, which um, we'll talk about in a minute, is still going to absolutely go ahead. But the problem with demonetization is YouTube doesn't recommend to anybody a demonetized video because it's not in YouTube's interest to represent and, and to promote a video that's not going to earn anyone any money. So I might mess about in a stream, there's lots of swearing, YouTube knows this and it demonetizes it. And that video dies. It dies a death after we click the stop streaming button. Again, not a problem. It's not a problem. That part of it isn't an issue. But if, if YouTube algorithm knows that you've just had a video die for whatever reason, it almost penalizes the next um, video upload. Now, the video upload might be a review or a let's play, but YouTube is hesitant to recommend that to anyone because the last video, for whatever reason, died now that might have been swearing it might be something else it might have been you know whatever but you're fighting against the algorithm so that's why i'm going to put a divide down the middle and keep youtube for my video content and move the live streams to twitch and in the first line of the description you will see my twitch account so follow me on there in preparation for all the live streams on twitch so Game Tech, you're going to move all the hard work that you've done, you're going to turn your back on YouTube and go over and stream on Twitch all day. Absolutely not. That's not what this video is about. And like I said at the start, this is not a YouTube rant video. This is not me. I've had enough of this. I love YouTube. I love creating content. Um, I just understand the um, the problems with the algorithm. And I'm trying to sort it out. And this is how I'm going to do it. So if you look back on the channel over the last couple of weeks, particularly, I'm, I've am i actually given you a really good example of what I'm going to be doing with the channel. So Let's Plays, quick videos, helpful videos, covering upcoming games, which is important to me, covering indie games, which is really important to me, indie developer interviews, anything like that. That's what I want Game Tech UK on YouTube to become. So less of the like, well, no live streams, no messing about, proper, helpful, valuable content to you. Shorter content, because most of my streams are two or three hours long. Most of my videos are half hour or less. That's the sort of stuff I want to be doing on YouTube, building my brand, Game Tech UK, um, around my content on YouTube. There's going to be free, regular uploads on YouTube without fail. That's going to be a Monday morning, a Wednesday morning, 
and a Saturday morning, all at 10 o'clock, all at usual 10 o'clock time. Um, so that would be a varied stuff. It might be a mixture. It might be all to do with the same uh, game or subject. That's to be, you know, that that's part of the variety. You know, Game Tech UK is the home of variety gaming. The live stream element of the channel on Twitch will also get a schedule as well. Tuesday evening at 8.30, which is pretty much the same slot now. Thursday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. This is all GMT, uh, but Thursday morning, 10 o'clock, and Friday evening at 8.30 as well. So there's going to be free um, items of content on YouTube uploaded every week and free regular live streams on Twitch every week so that you will get from Game Tech UK, from me, you'll get six items of content on a regular basis every single week. The member program on YouTube will still absolutely go ahead with all the perks and bonuses that I've included. Um, so you still get a monthly live stream just to members and you will still get a giveaway on that stream as well. And if you've been thinking about sponsoring the channel and it's more the video content that you enjoy, you can click that join button. It's still absolutely active. There's also going to be ways to um, support me on Twitch as well. Um, I think there's free ways as well, as in free, not costing you anything. If you've got Prime membership. Um, one of the perks of Prime, you can attach a sponsorship to a streamer free of charge, and you would be put in to the members. So you, you know, whoever sponsors on Twitch um, would still get a live stream and still get the giveaway. But this isn't a move to try and make more money. It's a move um, for the good of the channel and to try and get better growth. There's no doubt about that. And to also diversify it for more than one platform, which I think is always um, a good move from a content creator. So depending on when you're watching this video, today is the 10th of April and I've got one more live stream planned on YouTube and that's going to be a free hour endurance of Gran Turismo. Um, after that, I'm going to take a couple of weeks off of streaming. So there's still going to be content on the YouTube side of things, video content, but I'm going to take a two week break from streaming. Um, it's, it's Easter, so I want to spend some time with the family. I'm going to utilize that two weeks as well to do some rebranding on the channel, get the Twitch side of things um, all sorted ready for this new schedule. So a lot of people are nervous about Twitch and they feel a little bit like it's, you know, the unknown and they're comfortable with YouTube. But Twitch is nothing to worry about. It doesn't cost anything. It's free to set up an account and use. It works exactly the same way as YouTube with the stream window and the chat window. It's it's nothing to worry about. Um, if you are going to set up an account um, purely to follow me to Twitch, if, if you did it in your YouTube name, I would know exactly who you are. So that would be really helpful. Also, Discord, in this um, particular scenario of dividing the channel is going to play an even bigger role it's a lovely discord lots of people in there so if you're not already in my discord feel free to come in again use your um your username as your youtube name i know exactly who you are then um, but discord is going to become even more important to bridge that gap between the videos and the video community and the streams and the streaming community uh, and bring everyone together which you know was my ultimate aim with this channel um serious gaming fun to bring everyone together so we can just game and have fun and that's it that's my channel update so if you don't actually um, join my live streams, you only watch my video content, nothing's going to change for you, only for the better because there'd be more regular and better quality content. If you only join the live streams and you don't watch the videos, all it simply means is that there's a new place to watch them. It's not much of an update, but it's important to be upfront with you um, and let you know what my plans are. I'd like to ask you one question before you go. I would like to ask, I know there's a lot of people on the channel that are here from day one or have just joined, this information would be invaluable to me would you let me know what brought you to the channel just just simply that what brought you to the channel that'd be invaluable for me to read in the comments and you know i answer all my comments and that will continue as well however you know as much as i can do it everyone if you take the time to leave a comment on my video i reply so that is it everyone hopefully this has been informative and let you know my exact plans for game tech uk and the channel moving forward have a lovely day and i'll see you on twitch